the two mistakes that people make when they try to, the, the just swing easy advice kills me, yeah. okay? Now, if you wanna make a shorter swing and accelerate from there, so like, you know, people are getting all disconnected with their arms and then yeah. doing something fun. Now, if you wanna make a shorter swing and then fire from there, that I approve of. And that's why I have people take out seven iron to learn their swing, stop, this is the end of their backswing, and then fire, yeah. but just swing easy. It's a, it's a Band-Aid that leads to other issues. So, so on the golf course, like we're gonna do right now, you're trying to hit it hard. You're, you're trying to I swing mean, at it. I mean, I mean not, not trying to murder yourself. But. You know, it, it, to me, and the, the compliments I got from all the other long drivers was it didn't look like I swung that hard, and this is the big issue among people with their drivers. One guy made fun of me. I put up my swing on YouTube right before I went to the World Championships a couple years ago, and he said, wow, that swing is really slow. That doesn't look like more than 110 miles an hour. And funny enough, that guy got paired in my group and I beat him by like 40 yards. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Wasted motion looks and feels powerful and fast. Yep. Okay? Yep. Okay? So like when I, I said before, I wanna, when I want to kill it, I'm going to do all these moves right. to... That's not going to get me more club hit speed. Right. People get the idea that Ernie Els and Fred Couples don't swing very hard. Yeah. They don't have a lot of wasted motion. Those guys admit it. They, I try to hit every driver as hard as I can. Well, let's, so, see, let's see it, Monty. All right. What's your intention when, when you're doing a golf course swing? Um, For you, because you used to do this, your intention is to get the left arm off the I, chest. I got to get the left arm off the okay. chest, and I have to make sure I don't go into right tilt too early. Show us that. Okay. So, in a golf swing, you have forward bend. Yep. Okay. And when you rotate your shoulders, you know, the, everyone says, keep the spine still. The spine doesn't stay still. Okay. So now, people say, oh, left tilt, that's top of the, no, that's not left tilt. That's okay. reverse tilt. Yeah. That all these cons. Yeah. So, when you make a golf swing, I'm in forward bend. And then when I rotate, now I'm in left tilt toward the golf ball, because look where my left shoulder yes, is. You are. Okay. Mm -hmm. If the left shoulder goes lower, it's common sense. You're tilted left. Yes. It's not rocket science, okay? Where I and a lot of good players, if you're a stuck player, yes. you go into right tilt too early. You go from here to Right, there. correct. So, so, you so, you're in, you, so you're in left tilt yeah. and you go into right tilt, okay? Yeah. See, n now I'm stuck and I'm gonna early extend and all that good yeah. stuff. So my, and then if you go into right tilt early, then you early extend. So what I'm trying to do is, is get my left arm off my chest and try to go in left tilt over there. So it feels like I go here, there. Right. Now a lot of people would, would say, oh, don't even show that to, don't even show that little piece of advice to right. normal golfers. Right. Because the over the top golfer, that, that could be very bad. That's death for an over the top golfer. Okay. Right. Just like the no turn cast swing for you is gonna be death to a guy who um, ho holds on for a long time. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, that was pretty good. That, that is getting out of here fast and okay. staying in the air. Well, let's, let's take a look. Yeah. So, it, so that, that one was 126 miles an hour of club head speed. Yes. And it threw, it flew in the, it stayed in the air for how long? Uh, I, you know what? I didn't look at the number. It was, I think it was like three thirty-six, three four, something okay, like that. So he, here's, here's the funny thing though, yeah. is when you're hitting range balls, you have to be careful. Is these things don't aren't full flight, no. you know? And I hit 126 miles an hour, and if you do the math, one four nine is a solid hit. Mm -hmm. So one and a half times, you know, 126. That right. should theoretically be 189 miles an hour of ball speed, right. but that one was probably only 181 or 182, yeah. even though I crushed it. You yeah. know, so when you're hitting range well, balls, you can, on, you can see. I mean, the 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 mark that Monty's leaving is right in the sweet spot. Yeah, when I'm right tilting properly, I hit the ball in the middle towards a little bit high. Okay, when I'm right tilting early, I hit. See how you can see a few old marks yep. on the bottom of the yep. club? That's when I start doing this. Yep. Let's try to turn one up. Let's, let's see something in the mid-120s. Okay. So this is Monty really trying to swing hard. It's basically a long drive swing. That was long. Yeah, but, you know, in the heel, that was only 119 and a half miles an hour. Okay. 
in my mind, I swung harder, but I was down six and a half miles an hour on a swing that I felt like I swung harder. But I right tilted too early, I got a little stuck, I slowed down, even though it felt like I swung as hard as I could. So that's where it comes in, where wasted motion felt faster, but I was actually six miles an hour slower. Your, your highest ball speed in 92 or, or, or in the 90s, what was your, your long drive ball speed? I have no idea. Club head speed. Club head speed. Yeah, club head speed. You know, I was, I was getting north of, you know, the, the monitors weren't that accurate then. Okay. You know, they didn't have TrackMan or FlightScope yeah. obviously then, but I hit on a couple of, you know, million dollar club, you know, yeah. Right. yeah. And, yeah. you know, I got, I got those, uh, you know, north of 140 up to 145. Okay. You know, that's where the guys are today. Yeah, and uh, you know, everybody says, you know, oh well, this guy's longer than this guy. You know what? The longest guys of era A are the same as the longest guys of era B. You know, if they would have had the training techniques and the equipment and whatnot, it would have been the same. All right, so Monty, let's see a, uh, let's see your Remax, uh, your Remax swing. Now, that looked that, really good. That was I'm decent. Okay, that was 123, okay. so that wasn't as good as the... So you can see, I tried to swing harder at the last two. Subscribe to Be Better Now for more compelling golf content.